this module is uh, extension of continuation of module 141. It means it is the same topic. Uh, we will add something uh, here to the previous topic. You know from your previous study of this course that gender is not sex. We are defining it as cultural expectations, how culture wants to see us as men and women. How culture defines our roles, responsibilities, duties, and uh, language, etc. This, these cultural definitions of males and females, they are called gender. The second term that uh, is essential uh, to know here is culture. Culture means knowledge, values, beliefs, technologies, total ways of living that is common to people. This is called culture. A simple society may have only one culture. Simple society, isolated societies, uh, which are, I think, no more in the world now, except those people who live in jungles. Simple societies may have single culture, but these days we are living in complex societies where we have layers of cultures, cultures within cultures. We call them subcultures. For example, we have Punjabi, Balochi, Kashmiri subcultures within Pakistani culture. I give a task here to understand the difference between culture and subcultures within a culture. Read the definition of culture carefully that is given in this module. Do you find any subcultures within Punjabi culture? Do you think we have uniform cultures? See, we have Pakistani culture, within it we have Punjabi culture and then within Punjabi culture we have subcultures. So, the culture of southern Punjab, central Punjab, northern Punjab, they are different from each other in many ways. So, having talked about gender, culture and subcultures, now we come to our immediate concern in this module, that is, what is popular culture? It is culture that is wide separate, that is accessible to common people, educated or uneducated, and people from all classes and all shades of life. We can contrast it with high culture that is limited to educated people, elite class people, that is not accessible to others. So this is the difference between popular culture, this is also called mass culture, and high culture. But our concern here is only with popular culture. It is real reflection of public taste and values. It covers all forms of entertainment, layer, youth culture, and by youth culture we mean fashion, styles, gems, everything that moves around youth, that, con that is concerned with youth. It covers mass media because it is mass culture. It is culture of masses, culture of common people. So, wide range of people are covered by popular culture. 
so the sources of communication are also used which are called mass media and they include radio tv folk music lok musiki films sports and folk literature or folk lore these products of popular culture we call them products of popular culture because this culture is seen through these products it becomes visible through these products so they are used the products of this popular culture the tv radio and other resources they are used to control mind of the people behavior of the people mass media it means we can say as conclusion that mass media entertainment layer that is in access of every person and folk literature folk literature includes folk stories uh, lok dastan fairy tales and things like that collectively we call them folklore represent popular or everyday culture number 1 number 2 the products of popular culture they are used to shape minds to influence thinking of people